oh hey there rajat here so when i got my first computer i first of all gave a lot so that was a windows machine and it came with windows vista and if you remember that operating system and how heavy it was so i was uh, this just another teenager so i thought that playing games on it would be cool so i installed a bunch of games but after a while i got bored of gaming and i wanted to scratch this itch of writing computer programs right so i started looking into those online journals magazines and blogs about how to learn programming although i was undergoing the bachelor degree in computer science but yes you know that these colleges do not actually teach you real software development and application building so i was binging on these blog posts and all in order to teach myself some computer programming and all so i had to install a bunch of tools for that and since windows vista was my operating system i obviously installed those things on that machine and the uh, first programming language i picked up was java and you know that java has always been slow and if you install eclipse and other ides on top of that in order to do your development it can easily bring down any windows machine pretty easily i mean that had been the case back then when i was you know starting in the programming thing right so i was like why my system is so slow that system was having 1 gb of ram and that system was running windows vista so you can just try to imagine the stigma right so i was doing all of that and my system felt pretty slow so i just started looking online about how could i speed up my system and that was when i discovered this entire cult of linux programming because hey if you want to call yourself a nerd or a chic programmer how can you do that you just have to install linux and then you have to program in c or c++ in order to call yourself a true programmer according to some of these magazines and blogs and these things have been going on until today as well right so there are many articles that have been churned out on a day to day basis about how you can become that pro developer that googly that microsoft developer by you know installing a bunch of tools and programming uh, and following some sort of cult right so i read that thing and i thought that i should better try linux so i got myself an iso of ubuntu i think that was ubuntu 8 and it was around 2009 or 2010 so i got myself that iso of ubuntu 8 and installed that thing on a virtual box and i started you know trying things out because i was pretty new to the linux operating system although i had that linux experience from the computer science lab that was there in my uh university but uh, i had some negative connotations associated with linux programming because that linux programming felt like what the heck is this thing right so this looks bland right so that was my impressions right about entire linux thing but then i tried ubuntu and i actually liked that thing and that thing was pretty fast and it had no reservations about how you can install that thing on your system so i for some time tried ubuntu 8 and i liked that thing so much that i got rid of windows vista for good and i installed ubuntu as my primary operating system and that is the thing i have been maintaining till this day right so ubuntu has been my primary operating system for almost a decade you can say so something has happened recently which forced me into using windows 10 as my primary development machines operating system and here are some things i have learned about this operating system so i joined this new company and in this new company they gave me a proper windows 10 desktop machine in order to program and i was like someone should come and stab me through the heart so then i can just die in peace and i cannot just touch this windows 
abomination. I was like that. I did not really want to try any single command out on this Windows machine. But since you know and understand the employment things, you cannot just help it. So I was forced to work on a Windows machine and I started working on a Windows system with a heavy heart. But that impression started to change and it changed pretty quickly and it changed up to a point where I have ordered myself a proper Windows laptop. This is a Predator machine from Acer. It has got 16 GB of RAM, i7 8 gen processor and 1066 GB graphics card. So I have loved Windows 10 that much that I have ordered myself a new laptop running a genuine version of Windows 10. So what changed? So I was thinking that Microsoft was never concerned about the developer community and that was my intention. But when I tried that Windows 10 desktop machine and I tried the tools and I tried the integration of those tools with the operating system, things started to change for me. And I actually liked, you know, running those programs in a Windows environment. So Visual Studio Code, ran pretty flawlessly inside Windows 10 operating system. The integration was on point. I can invoke that editor from anywhere I wanted to. So I really like that thing. And on top of that, I can install programs like Git Bash and things like that in order to work with my Git system. And these things are pretty similar to what you have on uh, any on any Linux machine like Ubuntu, Bash and all. So I was right at home. And in some case, these things performed even better than Ubuntu, Bash. So I was like, okay, things are not adding up. I was under the impression that Windows suck, but it is not actually sucking. So what is happening? So I was pretty amazed to see all of that. So. I programmed on a Windows 10 machine for somewhat like three months and it changed my perception towards this entire Windows 10 thing. So I think that Microsoft is pretty serious about the developer community. They have taken some great strides towards bringing the developer community on board. So they have integrated this uh, VS Code editor so meticulously with the operating system that it feels just an essential part of the operating system I would say and everything is just hunky dory in here so I think and in certain cases I have found that certain tools have better compatibility with Windows 10 than they have with uh, some other Linux distribution like Ubuntu so some tools or some libraries are performing far better on this Windows 10 so what is the gist of it the gist is that that Microsoft is pretty serious about uh, the developer community and they have introduced some great tools which we can use on uh, in our day to day development and these tools are pretty awesome. I would say TypeScript is good. VS Code is good. Now we are also using GitHub. So that is also a Microsoft owned company now. So GitHub is good as well. So Microsoft is doing many great things for the developer community and the operating system also exhibits the same intention. So I think in case you want to call yourself a sheet programmer, you just do not have to install Linux anymore. In case you really want to work on Linux, you can just, you know, activate the Windows subsystem for Linux on Windows and then you can be right at home if you really want to stick to Ubuntu's programming environment because that is something what I have done. So I am using Windows 10 host operating system but I am programming still in Ubuntu technically because I am programming via WSL shell. So that is a Windows subsystem for Linux and I have got Ubuntu stored in this particular machine. So I'm doing all of my programming using Ubuntu environment. So this is my personal laptop. This Predator thing is my personal laptop. This is not company's machine, but on company's machine, I had that same setup. So you do not really have to give away certain pleasures like playing games if you want to install 
uh, Ubuntu on your system because on Ubuntu you cannot just play games that environment is not very game friendly for that you need Windows because not many games are there for uh, any Linux distribution and even if they are they are not just that good right they are not that entertaining so in case you really want to you know do stuff like gaming and all you need to have a proper gaming uh, PC or a Windows machine and you can do that in case you want to program you can just boot up WSL and then just start churning out your codes and all and you can get all softwares that are available for Ubuntu inside this WSL thing and then you can make things work for you so I feel like that I'm using Ubuntu inside of Windows and everything just work certainly there are certain areas where you have to figure things out on your own not everything is hunky dory in this setup but yes with some deliberate attempts you can make this system work for you so you cannot game on windows 10 you can write programs using ubuntu inside the wsl system on windows 10 and you can do several things like that so i was missing on a considerable amount of things when i was just using Ubuntu because I was not able to play games, I was not able to run certain programs, I was not able to do any sort of serious video editing on an Ubuntu machine and those things were pretty necessary being a content creator and a programmer myself and now I can do every single thing on this system without giving away my Ubuntu experience. I still have that thing in here. So that is my honest opinion about what I think about Windows as a development machine and what Microsoft is doing. This is not a sponsored video. I wish I could get sponsors, but hey, nobody is sponsoring me. I'm just a small YouTuber. So that's my honest opinion about Windows 10. In case you really want to know how this machine performs, I can record a video about uh, the performance of this machine in case you want that video let me know in the comment section also in case you want me to try certain softwares out on this machine just let me know so that i can download those softwares and run those and if you are new here on this channel we talk about software development app development software industry and your career trajectories on a weekly basis so in case you are new here and you are really interested in any of those topics you might want to subscribe and i see you guys over in the next video